Hi everyone, this is the second part of WPF application. We are going to continue from the last session we did uh, loading grammar and commands. Okay, now in this or here we, we learned about the class of speech recognition choice. Okay, this is the class. Then we are using a, a text and variable name and then we are going to use a string line and then we are going to use a file file type to read the text file we are using a system.io class of uh, system.io uh, file dot read all lines then current uh, directory okay then uh, concatenate and then we are using our text file over here this will uh, all the commands will be in the commands.txt file okay then we are going to uh, add add its choice from the lines okay from the this line from this text uh, command.txt we will add all the choice from this command commands.txt okay then we are making a grammar word list is the name variable and local variable name of the grammar you can change whatever you like okay for me is the word list is equal new grammar then new grammar builder we are going to make a grammar builder okay and then we are adding the choice okay over here okay now over here uh, a grammar builder is equal text text is our choice okay which is taking all the commands okay from te command text file and it will store in the lines and then we are going to add a uh, choice from the lines okay and then grammar builder word list will uh, will uh, uh, will build a grammar from the text okay from the choice okay which is holding all the commands from the text command text file okay then speech recognition engine dot load grammar word list this will load the grammar from the word list okay this is our grammar and then uh, we are using a catch exceptions okay if something is wrong over here at uh, something is wrong in our te uh, commands text file uh, for example commands text file has a blank line or something a comma uh, uh, not a comma but some kind of error then it will catch the exceptions okay that uh, message box dot show e dot message ex dot message it will show the error okay now after that we are loading the grammar we are using a default microphone okay for for a speech engine okay a speech recognition engine engine dot set input to or uh, set input to default audio device okay this will set uh, the this will use the default microphone okay and then a speech recognition engine dot recognize mode we are going to make a listening for our uh, speech engine okay uh, this will uh, speech recognition engine dot recognize async we, we are going to make over here recognize mode multiple okay this is very important you have to make recognize mode multiple okay okay then we are going to make a event handler for a speech complete a sp a speak complete okay for uh, for our synthesizer okay now jarvis dot speak completed okay is new event handler okay speak completed event orgs okay then we are going to generate method uh, jarvis dot speak underscore speak complete how to make generate a method for it i as i show you before like let me to remove this one and then we are going to uh, uh, click on here and then generate method now you can see it's a generate uh, private void speak completed speak completed this is the event uh, event for speak completed okay now 
after that we are going to pa uh, uh, to cancel the speech uh, synthesizer okay because if uh, our jarvis uh, dot state and uh, synthesizer state is speaking for example if it's speaking then jarvis will cancel all okay okay after that we are catching exceptions okay if something is wrong in this code or here at the top uh, until to here if something is we are catching the exceptions my uh, message box dot show e dot message and then voice recognition is failed if something is wrong if our grammar has some some kind of problem if our speech uh, uh, engine recognize uh, uh, grammar has some problems or uh, microphone is not set to default or something is happened then it will show us the error message okay voice recognition failed and it will show the also the main uh, error okay in text uh, in message box okay now we done with all of this and then we are going to work on a speech recognize event okay now first of all we are going to make a string for our result we call it speech speech is equal e dot result dot txt what is e dot result txt when we are loading a grammar to our speech engine each each uh, of our grammar when it's execute it will show the in the result okay in the result and then we can uh, make a, for example like switch statement we are going to make a switch statement over here switch okay we are uh, over here we have to give expression okay expression we are using our result okay our result dot uh, txt we are using over here if you want you you don't have to make uh, for is uh, e dot result okay you can directly uh, e dot result dot txt you can put it over here okay then we are making for example case and then break okay if our result dot txt is equal hey jarvis yeah or or hello hello jarvis okay this this is our grammar when when we are using a grammar hey jarvis okay we have in our uh, commands dot txt file okay in command txt file when the the a speech recognition engine when it's load the grammar okay when it's loading grammar from the choice okay then it's executing or here e dot result dot txt okay if the uh, then we switch to e dot result txt hello jarvis if we say through the microphone hello jarvis if our grammar is uh, is equal to this case we are using over here if a grammar is equal to hello jarvis then we execute over here the statement statement okay like here 